Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, Jaime, hello, Damaris, hello, Maria Dolores, Ivan. Hello, good evening, welcome to the class. How are you today? Very nice, teacher. Oh, good, good to know. Too good, to say. Ah, okay, you are very good. That's great. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for your punctuality. I can see that your classmate um, aren't here. Let's see. Okay. Okay, uh, tonight is the last class, right? This is the last class of our English course beginning at three. And how do you feel about that? Ya pudieron ver su diploma? El diploma que consiguieron con mucho esfuerzo trabajando en la plataforma? And that is pretty good. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Hey, that's great. Esa es la recompensa, ¿verdad? El esfuerzo que han puesto durante estas cuatro semanas eh, resolviendo la plataforma, conectándose a la clase, participando en la clase. I really good appreciate... Good evening. Hello, good evening, Hugo. I really appreciate your work during these uh, four weeks. You have done a really, really nice job. Thank you so much. Y thank you for your participation, right? Y... Gracias por participar en cada uno de los ejercicios y que hoy no sea la excepción, ¿verdad? que esta noche no sea la excepción. Y today we're going to have a feedback of the course. We're going to have a kind of review of the topic that we have studied during these four weeks. And um, the last time, have you complete the platform? Terminaron la plataforma en la sección número 5 y el examen final. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Yes, you yes, did. I, okay. I did. Yes, I did. Okay. That's pretty yes, good. Congratulations then to everyone. ¿Ya todos tuvieron acceso al diploma? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay. That's perfect. Uh, congratulations then. Uh, please don't forget to send your information, right? Uh, for the next course. Para que se pueda inscribir en el siguiente curso, tiene que enviar su información, pero no se olvide, tiene hasta el 4 de octubre para hacerlo. Esa es la fecha límite, si aún no lo ha hecho. Y si ya lo hizo, pues a esperar, ¿verdad? A esperar la confirmación para el siguiente curso. Van a descansar ahí una semana. ¿verdad? Una o dos semanas. Hola, yeah. Jonathan. Este, have a question. Tell me what is your question, Jonathan. Este módulo que estamos viendo ahorita hasta acá termina, entonces. Así es. Sería ya para, el, ya para el próximo es como, ahorita estamos en principiante 1, ¿verdad? Principiante 3. Nada, o sea, siempre seríamos principiante 4, ¿o cómo? Pre-intermedio 1. Sí. Ah, sería. ¿cómo está? Ah, ok. No okay. sería... Y el preintermedio lleva otros cuatro módulos o tres módulos, así sería preintermedio 1, preintermedio 2, preintermedio 3, después intermedio. Ah, okay. ok, después del intermedio, teacher, digamos, eh, como cuántos, por decirlo así, plataformas son de el básico, el intermedio. Luego six, el... six, six, three, six, nine, like 12, 12. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, so you are doing good, you are doing good. Continue working in this way and you are going to complete this English course, right? And that is the goal, right? That is the goal, continue making this effort to continue studying this beautiful language and English is really useful too, right? También ayuda mucho. So continue, continue. Step by step, right? Paso a paso. Right? Uh, vamos paso a paso and you are going to see that you are, uh, let's see, you have improved in the language. So continue studying, continue practice, continue listening to music in English, continue reading in English, 
continue watching videos in English. Cambien su English. teléfono. Cambien, cambien su teléfono al idioma inglés porque para que vayan viendo el menú, cómo es y todo eso. Luego, si no lo pueden configurar, pues, <ríe> con gusto les ayudamos, ¿verdad? Que lo regresen en español, en case you need it. Eh, ok, so continue practicing. Continue practicing yeah. this, right? Mm, oh, on internet, you can find a lot of resources that can help you to improve your English. You can watch a lot of videos on YouTube. You can watch a lot of uh, listening, como los videos que estaban en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que son bastante informativos y aprendemos mucho. Así podemos encontrar mucho material, ¿verdad? Y para certificar ese conocimiento, sigamos en los cursos, ¿verdad? Sigamos en los cursos de inglés corporativo y, y ayudados con el INSAFOR para que usted vaya obteniendo su diploma, ¿ok? Pero también por su cuenta usted puede ir avanzando, puede ir avanzando buscando información. Ahora va al preintermedio, puede buscar en internet cuáles son los temas del preintermedio. Y puede ir avanzando mientras comienza el próximo curso. ¿Ok? Y ahí sal, sale, digamos, en YouTube de los que van más avanzados que nosotros, teacher. Yes, yeah, you can look for the videos of the classes. So you can look for those videos. Ahí están en YouTube okay. los videos del curso pre-intermedio. Si quieren ir adelantando conocimiento, ¿no? Ah, ok. Thank you. Preparándose para el próximo curso. And that's great. So let's finish this course. And tonight we're going to have the feedback that I said before. Vamos a comenzar con ese repaso, esa retroalimentación de lo que vimos en este curso de inglés. ¿Cuál fue el primer tema del curso? Do you remember that? What was the first topic? In the section number one. So welcome to the last class of this English course. Uh, the name of the class is Feedback of the Course. That is the topic for tonight. Uh, welcome to the class number 16. Jamil, uh, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Yo, yo recuerdo la primera clase. Fue la de cuando es el cumpleaños de, de nosotros. Oh, yes, you are right. Uh, talking about dates, right? Hablamos acerca de fechas, ¿verdad? Month okay. and date. Month and date. Perfect. Thank you. So let's start what, with what, what are you going to do? Parece que era el tema del, del primer Yes, right. And it was about the future things. So we are going to have a future tense review right now. So let's see. Complete the following sentences with an, is, o, r, or are. That is what we need in this tense. A future tense with going to. So let's start with this sentence. Okay, let's see. Number one. We going to cook roasted meat. What is the right form of the verb to be to complete this sentence? Sentence number our, one. Our. We are. Our. Okay. Yes, we are our. going to cook roasted meat. We are the one to bounce some red meat. Excellent. Thank you. What about the second one? I'm going to have a party. I go. I am. I am. I, I am. Um, am. Yeah, I'm going. The one. You are going to come. Um, you are going to come to my party. Okay, excellent. Number four. She is going to buy. Is she is going is to buy some drinks? Going to buy some drinks. And what about the next one? Going to buy some snacks. He is going to buy some sneak snacks. 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 Uh, Thank snacks. you. Thank you so much. And number six. It is going to it be. It is fun. going. Okay. It is going to be fantastic. And number seven. Or they are going they, to. They are going. going. They are going. They are going to make the salad. Excellent. Okay, now this is the structure that we need to make affirmative sentences in future things using going to. We need the subject, the verb be, the expression going to, verb, the verb, and the complement. So this is the structure, subject, 
verb be, going to, verb, and complement. So do you remember what is the other sounds? Instead of going to, we can say, what is the informal sound for going to or the informal pronunciation for going to? Hi, gonna. Okay, gonna is. Yes, you are right. So we say, we gonna cook roast meat. Oh, I gonna have a party. You are gonna come to my party. She's gonna buy some drinks. He's gonna buy some snacks. It's gonna, it's gonna be fantastic and they gonna make the salad. That is the other sound. So affirmative sentences. How to make negative sentences? Do you remember that? ¿Cómo hacemos las oraciones negativas? Para decir nosotros no vamos a cocinar carne. I go, I no, no, I don't remember. Oh, we are gonna, we are, we are in gonna. Okay, well, by the are. way, there is a mistake in these sentences. What is it? What is it? Can you find a mistake? There are two sentences that are wrong. What are they? No idea? What is the mistake? The feel set. Okay, what happened in the first sentence? ¿Qué tiene de malo la primera oración? This is the first sentence. What's wrong? El meat. Okay, that's great. This word. Eh, it means eh, reunirse, ¿verdad? Conocer, meat. Eh, what is the right word? ¿Cuál es la palabra correcta? We are going to cook roasted. Solo me. 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 And the second one? Uh, it is going to be fantastic. What do we need in this sentence? In sentence number six. Don't forget this. A sentence in English starts with a capital letter and ends with a. Y termina con un. With a period. So don't forget. Una oración en inglés comienza con letra mayúscula y termina con un punto, ¿verdad? With a period. So the period was missing here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping me to fix these sentences. So let's continue. Let's go with the next exercise. Let's complete the following sentences. They are negative sentences. Okay, um, this wasn't a good year for me, so no voy a celebrar Navidad. No fue un buen año para mí. Yo no voy a celebrar Navidad. How do you say that? Negative, negative sentence. Doesn't. I, doesn't. Don't, I don't going to celebrate Christmas. Okay, good try, but no, we need the verb to be. The verb to be plus not. In this case, we say, I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not going to celebrate Christmas. Let's see the second one. Dun, 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 dun. He's not going to have birthday He's party. He's not going to have a party. Okay. Birthday Thank party. you. So you say, she's, she's she, not. She she's is not. not. She's, She's not going to have a birthday party. No va a tener una fiesta de cumpleaños. Qué lástima. Queríamos pastel. Eh, she is not going to have a birthday party. Let's go with the number three. Stay at home is the next he, holiday. Not the same. same. The same. He is not. He is not. He is not. Okay. Not. He is not. He is not. He is not to stay at home next, next holiday. holiday. La próxima vacación se va a ver. ¿Quién sabe dónde? The next one. 
They are, they are not. They are not. Europe. They are not. To travel. They to are Europe. not. To Europe. Okay, excellent. They are not. They are not going to travel to Europe. No pasaron el, el test. O no tienen las vacunas del COVID. So they are not travel to Europe. Then, to make a negative sentence, we need a subject, the verb to be, not, going to, the verb in present, the complement, and finally, the period, on period train, to complete the sentence. So, I am not going to celebrate Christmas. She is not going to have a birthday party. He is not to stay home the next holiday. They are not traveled to Europe. ¿Cuál es la manera contractada? Do you remember I, the contracting for? I isn't. 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 Aren't. Aren't. Excellent. Aren't. In, the, in the first sentence, we say, I'm. I'm. I'm not. In the second one, tenemos dos opciones. She's not or she isn't. She's not she or isn't. she isn't. In number three, we have two options too. He's yes. not or he isn't. In the last he one, isn't. they are not or they are aren't. They, they are. are. They are. Those are the options. And this is the structure that we need to follow. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next exercise. Have to make question. Are you going to celebrate Christmas this year? Are you going to celebrate Christmas? Or are you going to celebrate Halloween? Are you going to celebrate Children's Day? No. What, what's a good answer? Are you going to celebrate Halloween, Ivan? No, I'm not going to celebrate. Halloween. Excellent answer. So you say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to celebrate Halloween. Are you going to celebrate All Souls Day? November no, 2nd. They, no, I'm not. You say, no, I'm not. No, no I'm not. El día de los muertos, el día de todos los santos. No. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. Then, to make question, we need the following structure. Give me a second. Here we go. We need the verb to be at the beginning of the question, the subject going to, the verb, the complement. ¿Y qué más necesitamos para una pregunta? The question mark. Okay. Question mark. We need the question mark. Excellent. So, can you please help me answering the following question? Are you going to go shopping next weekend? Then you say, it's a yes, no question. Then you say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to go shopping. Yes, I am going to shop. Yes, I am. 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 Okay, excellent. Is she going to buy cloth? Is she going to buy cloth? No, she's not. No, okay. no, she no, is no. no, she's no, not. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Are they going to use their credit card? No, they no. are not. Excellent. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Or oh, yes, they are. Is he going to buy a car? No, 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 he is not. Yes, okay, he is. Excellent. Not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is yes. or no, he is not. Thank you. Well, thank you, Leslie. Very good answer. Are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we are. Yes, we yes. are. Yes, they we are. are. Excellent, Samuel. Excellent, one, no, Leslie. Oh, no, we aren't. No, we aren't. So don't forget, yes, no question, but you have two options to answer, yes or not. Pero también va a depender del sujeto. Are you going? Si es you, puede ser la pregunta para usted o para ustedes. Yes. Are you going to go shopping? 
Si es para yes, ustedes, I say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Si la pregunta es en plural, are you going to go shopping? ¿Van a ir de compra ustedes? Entonces respondemos con we. Yes, we are. No, we are. En la tercera persona, solo tenemos que poner atención al sujeto. Is she going to buy clothes? Then you say, yes, she is. No, she isn't. Is he going to buy a car? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay, so don't forget about this information, please. And let's continue with the next exercise. W's word questions, information questions. We have the WH word. And ya aprendimos cuáles son las WH word. We have why, when, eh, where, who, what, who, what which, which, why, how. Why, how. Ok. Entonces en una pregunta siempre van a ir al inicio. Al inicio de la pregunta. At the beginning of the sentence. Then we need the verb be. El verbo to be. Subject. Going to. The verb, the complement, and finally the question mark. Let's say a look at the following examples. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? This is the information question, right? ¿Qué va a ser el próximo February 14th? Then you say, I'm going to... Anyone I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Okay. I am going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to be alone. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to be my friends. I'm going to be alone. I'm, I'm going gonna, to I'm gonna celebrate with my friends. I'm gonna celebrate with my friends. Okay. Nice. I'm going to buy chocolate for my wife. I'm going to invite my friends to dinner. I am going to go to the beach. I am going to buy some bunch of roses to my wife or to my husband. Okay. ¿Les gustaría que le regalaran rosas también a los caballeros del grupo? Do you like roses or flowers? No. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. No, no. no chocolate. No, chocolate. Okay, I can see that you prefer chocolate o un par de calcetines. Okay, cool. No se complican Muy tanto. común. <laughs> oh, this <What>? much better. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do next weekend? That is another information. What are you going to do next weekend? Then you list your plans, right? Aquí enlista sus planes. You say, I'm going to rest a lot. I'm going to stay at home. I'm going, I'm going to study. To I'm going to I'm work. work. I am I'm going, going to clean my house. Restaurant. I am going to go to a restaurant. I am going to go to I'm the going to fish. I'm going to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Beach. I'm going to pay my bills. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pay my bills. Solo el sábado le queda para ir a pagar todos los recibos. In where are you going to travel? I'm going to Los Angeles. Okay, I'm going to travel to Los Angeles. Um, any other answer? Where are you going to travel? I'm going. I'm going to Guatemala. Okay, I'm going to travel to Guatemala. I'm going to travel to Guatemala. Guatemala sería la, la, la procesión, Guatemala. Yes. yes. Any other answer? Where are you going to travel? Spain, Mexico, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Brazil, Argentina. To to uh, don't you like South American countries? For example, Colombia, Argentina, Ecuador. No, really? China. China, Japan, 
Korea. So when are you going to travel? ¿A dónde vas a viajar? ¿Dónde vas a viajar? Did you say I'm going to travel to? Y el país, el lugar donde va a viajar. Then don't forget about this structure. That this word, verb to be, subject, going to, verb, complement, and equation mark. So let's finish with a future tense. And let's start with this other talk, topic, talking about health problems with you. Do you remember some health problems? Some common health problems. And then in this part, we're studying this vocabulary, right? So let's take a look at the picture. What's the matter with hair? What's the matter with hair? Uh, then we use the verb to have. And we say she has. She has a. She has a headache, mm, probably. No. Um, teeth. Okay. Teeth. 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 What's the matter? What's the matter? No. And the other option is? What's wrong? What's wrong? wrong? Then we answer using the verb have. Let's see, for example, I have a cough. She has a rash. He has a backache. Well, what is a rash? Dientes. Alergia. 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 So yeah. she has a rash, she has a back age. Very good. How do you say fiebre in English? Do you remember? Do you remember? Fever. Okay, fever, fever. yes, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Is dolor de estomago, how do you say dolor de estomago? Stomachache. 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 Can, can you say the word with me? Stomachache. 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 Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Perfect now. Thank you. Headache. Then what's the matter with hair? She has, she has a stomach ache. Excellent. She has a stomach ache. Good. What's the matter with hair? She has the flu. She has the flu. She yes, has the yeah. flu. What's the matter with him? He has a, a headache. He has a headache. He has a headache. Okay. In this section, we also learned about imperative sentences to give advices. Do you remember that? Don't watch television. Don't work too hard. Don't stress. Go to the doctor. Visit the dentist. Take some aspirin. Do you remember those sentences? To give advices to people. Let's say, for example, he, he has a headache. Él tiene un dolor de cabeza. So, ¿qué consejos podemos darle utilizando oraciones imperativas? I take aspirin. aspirin. Okay, take some aspirin. Yes, take aspirin. some aspirin. Very good. Any other advice? Okay. Okay. So I ibuprofen. Any other? No. Do you remember about home remedies? What is good for a headache? Do you remember? Uh, put, okay, put your hands on cold water. ¿Se acuerdan de ese remedio casero? Ponga sus manos en agua fría. Yeah. En agua fría, okay. Puede que funcione, we don't know. Then, imperative sentences, right? Las oraciones imperativas nos ayudan para dar un consejo de lo que se puede hacer y una oración imperativa negativa con 
comienza con dónde, algo que no debe hacer. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere gozar de una buena salud, ¿qué puede hacer o qué no puede hacer? I don't stress. Don't stress, that is one. Thank you. Don't stress. Don't stress. Um, I don't very uh, work very hard. Don't work very hard. Don't work very hard. Don't eat so, drink don't eat so much. Don't eat so much. I don't drink, I don't drink alcohol. Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink Cold. alcohol. Drink much water. Drink a lot of water, yes. Drink a lot of water. Don't drink too much beer. Okay, don't drink too much beer. Yes. Pero dicen que es vitamina, pues. Una ¿Será? dos. <laughs> será o no será. Who knows, right? Who knows? So let's go to the next. And that was this topic, right? Talking about health problems. Then we study this, right? Giving direction in the preposition of place. We study yesterday the preposition of place. So do you remember some phrases to give direction in English? Do you remember some of them? Yes. Right, derecha. Eso? Right. On. Yes. Across, on, near, across, on the corner of, between, next to, between, next to, between, next to, next to, yes, all of them are preposition of places. Now, some phrases that we use to give another people direction, I have the next one here. Let's take a look of them. I'm sure that you are going to remember them. So go straight, turn right, turn left, walk yeah. on, next to, and then we have this preposition between, behind, on, on the corner of, across from, in front of. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Eh, no me acuerdo que ni ricado de on and come off. I don't remember. Which one? On the uh, corner of. Uh -huh. en la de... Ok, now let's see. Tell me, please. I am here. I am in this point. And I need to go to the bank. Can you get me? What was the question? Do you remember the question? ¿Cómo llego a? Thank you. It starts with how. Excuse me, how can I? Um, I get. Okay, how can I go to the bank? How can I get to the bank? How? Excuse me, how can I go to the bank? Or how, how can I get to the bank? Oh, yeah. ¿Dónde queda el banco o dónde puedo ir? Eh, sería, ¿cómo puedo, ¿Cómo puedo llegar? llegar? Oh. To back street and turn right back street. on Long mm. Avenue. Okay. Next Just take Long Avenue the on the corner of the bank Cross. is in, next to grocery store. Uh, next to or behind? Behind. Behind. In front behind. of the parking lot. Okay, in front of the parking lot. In front or across front? Across front. Across from. Across from the parking lot. Across Thank you so much. From. Yeah, then we use this expression to give direction. Very good. Now I am here on Shore Avenue. Okay, I am here in the library and I need to go to the beauty shop. Beauty shop. Go to the 
go straight in short avenue. Okay. Turn. Eh, turn left. To the left. To the left. To left. To left. left. To left. Uh -huh. From the street. To so right. 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 And to right. right. For right. the right. Avenue. 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 And to on back street. Right. Mm. On back. Left. 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 Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Turn. turn right? No, turn no, left. No, turn left. Okay. Back street. Turn left. Back street. Shop Beauty shop is between in the barber shop and daycare center. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job. And then you say, I'm here in the library. You say, go and strike your avenue until you get to front street. Now turn. You say turn left. 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 Okay. Left. You say walk, walk on to Border Avenue. Then turn. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. And turn right on. In the, in the next street, turn. Turn right. right. Turn right, yes. If the beauty shop is in between is between barber shop and the daycare center. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Now answer this question. Where is the bakery? Where is the bakery, for example? The bakery is, is on front street. Excellent. Thank you. The bakery is on front street. What is another good um, direction for the bakery? Any other preposition we can use to say bakery location? Bakery, bakery is on the corner of Short uh, Avenue yeah. and Front Street. Avenue. Thank you so much. Any other? Uh, bakery is next to city clinic. city clinic thank you the bakery is next to the city clinic very good next uh, to the drugstore in front of in front of in front of the drugstore or next to right see if you are in short avenue see yo lo veo de acá it's next to two right it's next to the baker pero si lo veo de front street you say it's in front of yeah, across yes. from the city park. And across from the city park is another one. Thank you. Do you have any question about this topic? No question. No question. Okay, we have to learn this, right? We have to learn this expression. Go straight, turn right, turn left, work on, next to, between, uh, behind, on the corner of, across from, and in front of. Y en la clase vimos otros, ¿verdad? Como go up, go down, walk one block, walk two blocks. We studied that on the class. So don't forget about that vocabulary because it's really helpful. And then after this topic, we study this, was and where, simple past tense. So let's see. Again, this is structure to make affirmative sentences using the verb to be in simple past, subject, was or where, plus complement. Let's see this example. Can you please read this example? I was at it yesterday. Excellent, thank you. The next one. The next. She was at, she was the, at shop the shopping mall. mall. And the last one. They were, they were, they were police. police. Okay. police. Okay. They were polite. Polite. They were polite. Uh, what is the subject in this sentence? As I. I. What is the complement? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, 
sat in yes. I was sat yesterday. Yes. Very good. So let's see how to make negative equations. Subject was or were not and complement. Any volunteer to read the sentence? He, he was, was, not, was not angry. 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 Perfect. Now, contractado was and not, sería? Wasn't. Was wasn't. Wasn't. He wasn't, wasn't angry. He wasn't angry, thank you. Anyone you weren't. You were not you were at home yesterday. You weren't. You weren't. Oh, you weren't at, at, at home, home yesterday. yesterday. Thank you so much. Yes, you're right. I can see that all of you remember this part. So you were not at home yesterday. He was not angry. Was it easy or difficult? The verb to be in simple past. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Right? It's easy. Okay, now it's easy, teacher. And then let's see was and where. Then we have question. Yes, no question. For a yes, no question, we need to write the verb to be in simple past at the beginning of the question again. So was or where at the beginning, subject, complement, and the question mark. Let's take a look at the following examples. Any volunteer to read this question? We, where did you sick last month? Thank you. Let's see the other one. Was high school easy for you? Thank you. And the third one. Were they, were they busy yesterday? yesterday? Oh, busy. Were they busy, were they busy yesterday? yesterday? Yes. Let's see the first one. Were you sick last month? Hugo, were you sick last month? Were you sick last month? ¿Dónde? O, oh, ah. ¿Qué hice la semana? El, ¿Qué hice el lunes o algo así? Ah, okay. Let, let's remember this part. It's a just no question with was and where. So it says, es tu vistes. ¿Estuvo usted enfermo el mes pasado? Uh, Did you answer it? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. wasn't. So, no. were you sick last month, Hugo? No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Very good answer. Now, Leslie, was high school easy for you? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. This is uh, was high school easy for you? It's asking about high school. Then you have to say, yes. Yes, I was. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, it was. It's Excellent. Yes, yeah, it was. Oh, no, it was. 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 Uh, una vez más, let's see. Was high school easy for you? Yes, it was. Francisco Antonio, was high school easy for you? Yes, it was. Ivan, was high school easy for you? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Maria Dolores, was high school easy for you? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, okay. Were they busy yesterday? What is a good answer? Were they busy yesterday? Estuvieron ocupados ayer. Estuvieron ocupados ayer. Yes, they were. Or oh, no, they? Weren't. They weren't. Yes. No, they weren't. Yes, they weren't. Yes, they were. No, no, no. No, no they, they weren't. Were. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> No, they weren't. Excellent now. Okay. You say, I got confused, man. <laughs> then let's see. Doubtless work. Doubtless work question or information question with was or where. We need the doubtless word at the beginning of the sentence. Then we need was or where. Subject, complement, and the question mark. Let's see this. Where were you on the weekend? Where were you on the weekend? Then you say, ¿Dónde estuviste el fin de semana? Yes, then you say, I was at home. 
I was at the mall. I was at the park. I was at the soccer field. I was at the stadium. Then you say, and where was were the you? Job. I was in the church. I was in the job. Uh, yeah, I was in the yard. I was in the party. Okay. Why were you angry? Why were you uh, angry? Porque estabas enojado. Porque yes, te thank you. Why were you angry? Mucho molesta. <laughs> <laughs> and you say <laughs> because because my brother bothered me porque me molesta mi hermano eh, because um, el Salvador lost the game porque la selecta perdió el juego so I was so angry why were you angry because I lost my money because the traffic was horrible today why were you angry because I lost my brother sería mucho más alemán oh because my brother bothered me butter, ah, butter because me. because I have because I because don't I have. drink coffee okay because I I didn't drink coffee because I didn't drink coffee because I had a terrible day because I had a terrible day very good answer all of your answer were nice thank you when was your wedding ceremony este es para los que están casados when was your wedding ¿Cuándo fue ceremony? la ceremonia ah, de bodas de casamiento ah ok ah por ahí no llego todavía Ah, ah, casi, okay. casi. Ah, no. Then, pueden quitarse el anillo y ver la fecha. Consejo, consejo, consejo ahí a los compañeros. Lo no hagan. Ahí, ahí lo tiene grabado en su anillo. When was your wedding ceremony? It was in 2015. Excellent. It was in 2015. Okay, you have you see, seven years. You had been married for seven years. Ha estado casado por siete años, right? Yes, I was. Yes, yes, right? Okay, when was your wedding ceremony? Alguien más se recuerda? So you say it, it was, was in, in October. Mm, 2017. Um, 17. 17. 2017. Okay, 2017. It was in October 2017. Very good. So you have, let's see, five years. Five years, right? You have been married for five years. Fighting. Uh, 15? 15? 15. Ah, uh, okay. So, <laughs> then it was in 2007. In 19. 19. Oh, tell me the year. When was your wedding ceremony? Yo creo que soy el único más joven, creo yo. <risa> el I único don't joven. remember that day. Yeah, okay. It was uh, the worst day, right? You say, let's see, answer the following question. Oh, by the way, it was a good day or it was a bad day? It was a good decision or it was a bad decision? What do you think? <laughs> bueno, so it para was que... a very good decision. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bien <Okay>. amarrado. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, nice. Por allá está la esposa ser. <laughs> Answer the following question. Uh, let's see. What did you do yesterday? 
That is an information question. Simple pass. What did you do yesterday? I, I went to my work. Excellent. I went to my work or I worked. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? We are almost to finish. I went, I went uh, a doctor, uh, no, uh, odontólogo como... Dentist. I went, I went in... To the dentist. The dentist. Excellent. Or oh, I visited the dentist. You can use both there. I went to the dentist or I visited the dentist. Both there are correct. I went to cut my hair. Excellent. You say I cut my hair. I cut my hair. I did. Okay. Go. I cut my hair. Thank I you. I got my homework. I did my homework. Excellent. I did my homework. Thank you. Let's see the next. Where did you go last weekend? Fue al lugar el fin de pasado. I went to I went, the beach. I went to the shore. I went to the shore. Thank you, Hugo. Hugo, you say, I went to the shore. And Jonathan say, I went to the beach. We are la playa. Very good. I went to festivities, WhatsApp, And I okay. played soccer. I played soccer. Excellent answer. Thank you. And also, I went to a restaurant. I went to a restaurant. Yes. Nice answer. Thank you so much. Did you go shopping? In the picture? Oh, no, perdón. Movie. I went to the movies. Excellent. Excellent yes. answer too. Did you go yes, shopping? I went to, yes, I went. No, I didn't. Okay. Yes, I, I went to the shopping. Yes, I went. Yes, I went to the shopping. I went shopping. I went shopping. Sin, single I went day. Shopping. I went shopping. Say, so say, yes, I shopping. did. Then you say in this part, yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Thank you. Didn't. Did you stay didn't. at home? Did you stay at home last weekend? Yes, yes I, I did. did. Yes, yes, I did. I didn't. When did you last go to the movies? La oración que dijo María Dolores. When did you last go to the movies? ¿Se acuerdan de las expresiones para hablar en pasado? You have yesterday, last month, last week, last year, two days ago, three days ago. So when did you last go to the movies? You say, I went to the movies. In, in, last weekend. Okay, I went to the movies last weekend. Any I other answer? I went to the movies last month or I, yesterday. Excellent. I went to the movies last month. I went to the movies oh. yesterday. I like to one, one years ago. One years ago. One years ago. Now, what movie did you watch? ¿Cuál fue la última película que vio? What movie did you watch? I don't, I don't know the name. Okay, I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. No me acuerdo del nombre. I watched the, I watched the movie. I saw. Eh, sería, son como niños. Mm -hmm. No sé cómo se dice. Mm. Okay. Um, in, when translating uh, movies names, uh, it is a little bit hard because sometimes the title in English doesn't anything to do with the title in Spanish. Ahí uh, tendríamos que buscar. We have to investigate on Google what is the real name of that movie in English. Because something in Spanish, it doesn't nothing to do with translation. No tiene nada que ver la traducción en español a veces con el título original en inglés. Porque es como una adaptación de name. 
Okay. And okay. I don't remember. I don't remember what is the name in English of that movie. But it is a great movie. It's a comedy movie, right? With Adam Sandler. Yes. Okay, let's go. This is almost the last one. Did you exercise yesterday? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, did. I, did. I did. No, I didn't. What no, was the best? I didn't. What was the best meal you ate recently? What was the best meal you ate recently? Recently. Uh, ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? Ah. Sí, yo no lo entiendo la ¿Cuál pregunta. es la mejor comida que comiste recientemente? Ah, ok, muy Eso, bien. Eso, así es. ¿Cuál fue la mejor comida que comió recientemente? Then you say, I ate. I ate chicken. I ate pupusa. Ah, ok, I ate, I ate pupusa. I ate pizza. I ate. I ate pizza. Carrascada. What? Can you please repeat, Hugo? Carrascada, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Roasted meat. Roasted meat. Roasted. Okay, muy bien. Did you play video games last night? No, I, no didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. Where are you good in science? Where are you good in science? No, I didn't. No, I where, didn't. Where do you go? No. Okay, now this yes, is I was. The, yes, I was. Yes, I was. So no, yes, I, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay, we need to be careful when to use did, when to use the verb to be. Then, did you make new friends this month? Did you make new friends this month? No, yes, I, I did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Very good. And then, what was the last thing you ate? Last thing you ate. I ate pupusas. Ah, okay. I, I, I ate sandwich. I ate, I ate, 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 ate hot dog. Okay, and this was the last question. That was the last question. What was the last thing you ate? You say, I ate pupusas, I ate sandwiches, I ate uh, chocolate cake, I ate spaghetti, I ate beans, I ate cheese. So that was the last question. Oh, yeah. I ate a hamburger. Okay, excellent. Okay, I have here chat. Hugo Giovanni is asking me. Sí. Yes. Tell me. No, I'm sorry. I read. I, I didn't read this before. Um, no, tengo un mensaje acá de Hugo, Giovanni. How old are you? So, let's stop the class here. Do you have any question about these English courts? No questions. And then, what about comment? This is the moment. Do you have a comment? Today is our last class. So, I want to listen to some of you. What do you think about these English courts? How did you feel? Oh learning in this English course. Bueno, yo, yo quisiera. Ok, yo Iván, quisiera hablar. Do it, please. Este, gracias, ha sido uno de los mejores cursos que hemos tenido. Eh, lastimosamente, hoy termina. Pero hemos, al menos, creo que la mayoría hemos aprendido mucho, mucho, mucho. Y nos hemos sentido bien. Eh, esperamos de que sigamos en este curso y ya nos hayamos este, calificado para el preintermedio, para seguir ahí aprendiendo inglés de la mejor manera. Gracias a usted, Piché. Thank you so much, Ivan, for your words. I really appreciate your comment, Hugo Giovanni. Yes, igual, de igual manera. Uh, 
gente que ha aprendido un montón, bueno, ha aprendido un montón de significado de palabras que hay gente que eh, me, me costaba pronunciarlas, pero estaba ahí. Bueno, eh, espero ver también a los demás chicos en, en, en el próximo módulo. Así que, you can do it. Thank you so much for your comment, Hugo. Thank you. Eh, María Dolores. Pues les animo a todos a que sigamos adelante. Ese es un idioma que no es de nosotros. Y nos tenemos que adaptar a él en cuanto a pronunciación, a significado y a tantas cosas que probablemente van a ser difíciles, pero no son imposibles. También agradezco por su profesionalismo, por el hecho de tenernos paciencia, por darnos la oportunidad de equivocarnos y a la vez corregirnos cuando, cuando lo hacemos, ¿verdad? Y eso habla muy bien de, de usted y le agradezco mucho. Muchas bendiciones, éxitos y pues buenas noches. Thank you so much, María Dolores. Thank you for your comment. Eh, Francisco. Bien, teacher, al igual que los compañeros, pues me siento muy agradecido y la verdad que ha sido un curso de mucho provecho. Yo he sentido que, que ha sido muy interactivo, muy didáctico. La verdad que eh, la forma de enseñar ha sido bastante clara y por eso creo que a lo mejor no han habido muchas dudas o muchas interrogantes y las que han habido pues las ha sabido solventar. Así que de mi parte agradecerle pues, y animar a todos los compañeros a seguir adelante. Que la verdad que es, es, como decía María Dolores, es muy importante adaptarnos y hacer de este idioma parte de nuestra vida. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Francisco Antonio. Thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate that comment. Thank you. And Samuel. It's your este, comment, sí, ya dijeron, ya dijeron todo lo bueno ahí los compañeros, ¿verdad? Pero yo creo que para nosotros... Eh, Vemos como la mitad aquí que, que estábamos con, otro, con otra profesora. <ríe> estábamos aprendiendo y, y creo que pasar y cambiar. Creo que estaba Leslie, Jonathan, eh, Jaime, ¿verdad? Y, y que ya Correcto. teníamos como un ritmo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Y pues Correcto. la verdad que yo bien, bien asustado, bien mirado. Y, y miren, ¿y dónde está? Pues, pero ahí está Leslie, ahí está Jaime. Y ya me sentía como en confianza, pero aún así como que hacían falta los demás compañeros. Pero qué bueno de, de haber conocido a los demás y espero seguir en este siguiente módulo con, con todo, ¿verdad? Que es un, un grupo excelente. Mucho gusto a todos. Ok, thank you so much, Samuel. Thank you. Anyone? We still have time. Anybody? José Alberto, do you want? Sí, me lo he al, al final del teacher. Pero igual, este, termino siempre motivado a seguir estudiando. Agradecer también por todos los conocimientos que nos brindó. La verdad que entrando ya a este tercer módulo, quizás uno tiene cierto temor que ya va a ser un poco más eh, difícil. Pero veo que la metodología que utiliza pues, siempre hace que motive a uno y que no bloquea al estudiante. Así que agradezco a todos también por el apoyo brindado y por supuesto ustedes le iniciaron. Gracias. Se me al éxito. Sigue adelante. Sí, miedo, ok, thank you so much, José Alberto Enriquez. Uh, thank you for your words, guys. And I motivate you to continue learning too, right? Continue. Probably you won't find your classmate in the next English course, but you are going to meet a lot of new people, right? And that is great too. Eh, probablemente no ve a alguno de sus compañeros ahí, ¿verdad? pero tenga la seguridad que está en otro grupo, ¿verdad? y que está integrado, está integrado participando junto con ellos. Eh, pueda que se vuelvan a encontrar, ¿verdad? En el siguiente módulo cabe también la posibilidad, ¿verdad? Para que sigan aprendiendo juntos. Eh, no se desanimen, sigan adelante. Y como les digo, ¿verdad? Por nuestra parte también podemos ir avanzando. Hay mucho material que podemos encontrar en, en internet o en la plataforma todavía va a estar habilitada ahí verdad para que puedan repasar los videos if you want or if you need so thank you so much for being here with me all these days thank you for your punctuality thank you for your participation you did an excellent job during this course so congratulations to everyone and continue learning english because english is really important and really useful Thank you so much. 
Bien, bye bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Thank you.